Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from a cup of death.com bringing you guys another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the new Hopog Stream EEZ software. This software is for streaming with your Hopog HD PVR2. Let's jump right into it. The first thing you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to do is download the software. You can find it at the hopog.com website under the support for the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. When you get to this page, you can uh, just type in this URL if you want, pause the video or whatever, take you right there. But you're going to want to click on the beta. This software, as I said, is still in beta. Um, so it's not you know perfect and they're still adding stuff or whatever. But if you go to the beta and scroll down, you'll see a link here for the stream E. EZ for the HD PVR2 installation CD. You want to download that. Okay, so let's open up the software and take a look at it. Um, this software is not very advanced. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it here as it's loading everything up and it's loading up the preview. Um, it's not extremely advanced or anything like that, uh, but the reason that I'm showing it off and the reason that I'm you know creating a video on it is because it is completely free. Um, you know, a lot of people have issues recording with the Hopogs, um, whether it's the first Hopog or the HD PVR2, because a lot of software like um, XSplit or uh, Wirecast, you know, those are the two most popular solutions that do cost money, but they are still the most popular solutions. Um, don't recognize the Hopog directly, so you still have to do like a screen capture. Um, although with the newest exploit software, they do actually recommend the Hopog. But again, uh, you have to pay for exploit, whereas the Hopog program, Stream EEZ, is completely free to use. But it does uh, lack some of the features that you would get with exploit. Okay, so let's take a look at it. It's very basic. Uh, you load up the program. It shows you a picture of the Hopog HD PVR2 here. Um, not yours, just a filler. It tells whether you're off air or on air. It shows a preview down here, and it has a volume that you can adjust for how, you know, in the stream, what you want the volume to be set at. So let's walk through the settings. Under the basic settings, the first thing you want to do is choose your video source. This is whether um, you're using, if you're using the first Hopog, uh, you might be using um, S-Video or Composite. In the newer one, you're going to either be using HDMI or Component in the HD PVR2. If you're using a PS3, you're using Component. If you're using Xbox 360, you should be using HDMI. I don't know why you'd be using Component unless you had to because you had an older Xbox 360. The audio source. Again, you want to select whether it's coming from the optical out of your Xbox 360, the digital optical line, um, your line, which would just be a red and white, or HDMI. Uh, it's coming out of HDMI for both me. And then you want to select your quality profile this is the quality of the stream you can select low bandwidth which you can see will do it at the video at 500 kilobytes per second constant with an audio of 64 kilobytes per second medium 1 megabyte per second 96 kilobytes for the audio and high 2 megabytes per second variable with audio at 128 kilobytes per second um, this is in order what you see here your upload speed must match this in order to stream at this so um, at 720p uh, you need to at least be doing 2 megabytes per second, which you can see here they do. And they do have it set to variable, which allows it to go up to 2.5 megabytes per second. That's about the lowest you want to run at 720p. Um, so you will get, I mean, it'll look good on the stream and stuff, but that is the lowest. And unfortunately, even if you go to the advanced tab, which I will show in a minute, you're not able to edit these profiles, which means you can't increase that if you have a faster upload speed. So again, one of the drawbacks of using a free program like Stream EEZ. Um, next, you want to select your stream and service, whether it's Twitch or Ustream, and then it'll you know have your channel and stuff that you can select when you set up your service, which I'll show you. Again, that's under the advanced. It'll have you choose your network connection. Um, if you're using a Wi-Fi, it'll be listed, or I'm using uh, LAN. Um, it's connected you know with Ethernet, so it's local area connection, and it'll give you uh, your streams link so you can post it to different you know Facebook or whatever you want to, and you click this to copy. Pretty basic. Under the advanced, you have your hardware details. Nothing you can mess with in here. It just basically tells you everything on the basic page with a little bit more. Quality profiles, again, you can select it. But as of right now, you're not able to actually change anything 
um, unless you make your own profile by selecting this that will take you to the profile manager and you can make your own profile um, although the basic one should be fine for you I don't really want to get into that in this video as I'm just kind of showing you the software um, it won't stream at 1080p it will scale automatically down to 720 you can adjust that um, but most people don't stream at 1080p anyways because um, whatever your upload is let's say you're doing 2.5 megabytes per second um, streaming they must have that as their download speed at least in order to watch your stream without any skipping or anything um, and is when you get into 1080p you have to have extremely high um, you know upload bandwidth which means everybody watch your stream must have really high download as well um, and then under stream and service profiles that just lets you add your different accounts you can click manage profiles and either add your twitch or your Ustream, um, which we'll click here Twitch you can go to and you can or just create news what you'll go to and it'll have that and you can select and change all your stuff yada 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 you see here Twitch um, and then you know that's all that does as well um, but yeah it's pretty basic and then to start streaming all you do is click this button right here and it'll start streaming on whatever service you selected and you press it again to stop streaming um, like I said it shows a little bit of a preview it shows a preview down here of whatever's on your Xbox or PS3 or whatever um, you know Game, whatever gaming system that you're streaming with, even if you're streaming with, a, if you're using the Hop Hog to stream uh, PC gaming, um, you can do that as well. Uh, but it is a very basic, you know, software. Um, but the nice thing about it is it's it is made directly from Hop Hog, uh, which means it works perfectly with the Hop Hog system without any other third party stuff or having to mess with it or anything. You just plug it, play it, it works. The only downside is that it doesn't have all the advanced features that you would get with XSplit or Wirecast. Um, for example, you can't add a webcam, you can't, you know, you can't change from different scenes and stuff, you can't switch from different sources, um, all stuff that you're able to do with the paid versions of XSplit and Wirecast. Uh, but if you're limited on budget, you don't have the cash, and you want to start streaming, uh, this is definitely the way to go. And, uh, you know, I've used it a couple times. The quality is good. Like I said, there is a little bit of customization. You can make some of your own profiles and stuff for some of the different stuff. But, you know, even with XSplit, I only stream at 3 megabytes per second um, upload uh, at 720p, you know. And I, I don't believe 2 to 2.5 is going to be that much of a difference. Um, so, yeah, check it out. It's free. I gave you the link at the beginning of the video. If you missed it, go back. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the description, but your best bet is just to go back. Uh, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think of the software. Again, do realize it is in beta. I'm sure they will be adding more features as they uh, fine-tune it and stuff and, and bring it out. Will they add webcam features and stuff like that? Who knows? Because, again, it is a free product that they're just offering to go along with their, uh, you know, their range of eight, um, you know, recorders, personal video recorders. Uh, so I wouldn't expect too much out of it in terms of advanced features, um, but if you are looking for something like that, um, you're going to want to check out XSplit or Wirecast, uh, but if you're just getting started, this is definitely a great free alternative to those programs. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. It helps us out so much. Uh, give the video a like if uh, it helped you out, gave you some great information, um, and if you don't mind, you know, give it a share. We appreciate it so much. We appreciate your support and we appreciate all of you that are subscribed to our channel. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the game.